This is advice that could make your next year a lot more successful and fulfilling. And it's not coming from me, a regular guy slash journalist slash schlubby amateur runner who posts moderately interesting videos on YouTube. It's life advice coming from one of the great American distance runners, Olympic medalist and 2014 Boston Marathon winner, Meb Kaflesky, who wrote a book years ago that's worth talking about now. You see, Meb spends a good chunk of the first chapter talking all about making and achieving goals. Not just running goals, but also life goals. Something a lot of us are thinking about this time of year. Anyway, I'll share my own personal goals in a second, but first, I wanna read the advice that got my wheels turning as Meb talks about making sure your goals are really your goals. He writes, a good goal has personal meaning. Nobody ever told me you have to win the 2014 Boston Marathon or you have to make the 2012 Olympic team. Those were goals I set for myself. When I told myself I want to win Boston, it just felt right. I knew that chasing that goal would motivate me to do what was necessary to achieve it and that doing so would require me to do my best. Your goal should have that same pull on you. There should be things you want to achieve for yourself not to meet someone else's expectations. Training to reach a goal requires a lot of hard work. When you hit a tough stretch, either physically or mentally, if the goal you're working toward has deep significance for you, you'll find a way to persevere. But if someone else thrusts the goal upon you, when you hit tough stretches, you're gonna think, wait, why am I doing this? Most of us have enough areas in our lives where we have to meet others' expectations let your running be about your own hopes and dreams. Meb also talks about the value in making goals specific, challenging but realistic, and with a clear time element. He also shares this about accountability. I write down my goals so there's no question of what I'm aiming for. There it is in black and white. I want to do this. I want to do that. If you're like me, you'll find that regularly seeing your goals is a way to keep yourself honest. I also write down long-term goals, such as where I want to be in five or 10 years. It can be fun, or at least interesting, to look back at those long-term goals. Sometimes I've seen an old list and thought, hey, I've done four out of five. I feel good about that. Other times, it's been more like one out of four. Well, that's better than none. Better keep working hard. At this very moment, I'm working on three specific goals tied to my running journey. For one, I'd like to see if I can get this channel about running to a thousand subscribers before the end of the new year without all the weird gimmicky stuff, you know, the smash the like button, pound that bell, and ugh. I just want to tell good stories that people want to come back for. Hopefully that's enough, but maybe it's not. I've certainly had plenty of failures, but you learn lessons in your failure. I'm also working on setting two new PRs, 210 in the New York City Half Marathon in March and 430 for the New York City Marathon in November. Both seem doable at the moment. We'll see. If you're still watching, thank you so much. And I'm actually pretty curious. I wanna hear what are your big goals for this new year? Let me know.